will guess the car which we are driving now? We'll give a clue. It's the best selling compact sedan in India. And now you got the answer. The Maruti Suzuki Swift Desire. With an average of 15,000 units per month, this is the undisputed leader in its segment. But someone is preparing for a fight and to dethrone Desire from the title. Yes, iFly this team has done a back-to-back -back test of new Honda Amis and Swift Desire. Both cars are based on their hatchback siblings, but Amis look better due to a well-integrated boot section, low stance, additional wheelbase, and minor styling changes make Brio-based Amis a proper-looking compact sedan. Swift is muscular hatchback and hence front end of the desire feels the same but the rear end is not as good. The smaller boot doesn't look as natural as in the Amaze. Again Honda strikes back with mad maximum machine minimum concept. Amaze offers unbelievable passenger space for a 4 meter sedan. You get more legroom for all passengers, bigger boot and overall space is better than the desire. However, the dashboard design is same as Brio, which is not attractive and upmarket as Desire. Even though Desire is having lesser space, the interior build quality felt better than the Hummies. The top and variant of Desire offers climate control which is not available on Hummies, but Honda provides ABS as standard on all models. Also, Amaze offers additional features like heat absorbent glasses and electric foldable mirrors. The biggest change from Honda starts here. We get a new diesel engine from them. This is a 1.5 litre high tech aluminium engine which produces 100 bhp power and 20 kg torque. The figures are highest for a compact sedan. On the other hand, Desire comes with Fiat Multi Jet engine, which is a pro unit. Power output is 75 bhp, which is more than sufficient, but Amaze clearly wins here with the specs. We were excited to tell about the Amaze, but before, let's try to analyze the successful design. The Desire's engine is refined and powerful enough for all needs, but the turbo lag makes it uncomfortable in city traffic. You need to wait until turbo spools up, and if you have full load of passengers and luggage, you are going to make break and downshifts. Now start the amaze. The first thing you notice is the engine noise. It's louder than desire. However, we haven't felt any vibrations on pedals or gear lever. The gear shift is short and precise. And once start moving, you are surprised to find the engine responsiveness. You hardly feel any turbo lag and power delivery is instant. This makes city driving a breeze. You may miss the turbo kick in the desire. But Amaze provides more power and hence acceleration is better than desire. Now comes the fuel efficiency. The all aluminium build and low friction has paid well. With an RA certified figure of 25.8 kmpl, Amaze successfully wins over the competition. Both comes with similar suspension setup. However, the 15 inch wheels on desire provides better ride. Overall, it doesn't feel like a light Japanese car on highway drives. But Amaze makes up with handling. The steering and pedals require lesser effort and feels lighter and easy to drive on corners. And also, it offers better visibility. It's a tough fight, right? This with is better refinement, overall quality, and broad mechanicals is still a great buy. But as an entry level sedan, Amaze offers better interior and boot space, better performance and fuel efficiency at almost the same price as the design. Feels like a perfect combat sedan and for the first time it takes a crown from the design.